Oh shit. They didn't get Styles P riled up, y'all. Yo, what is y'all doing? Hey man, I need to get 10,000 likes on this video. Run it up for me, man. Shout out to Hip Hop Uncensored for this one. Um, but they got some footage, y'all. They got footage. And I'm like, what the hell that popped off with the popo and your boy Styles P, man? Let's get into it, bro. Oh, this is crazy as hell. Hello, hello. No, I'm under arrest. I'm under arrest. I'm recording. 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 He's a bitch. I know he is. Yo, no, keep recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. I hope your camera's on because you didn't know what to Yo, sister, loosen up. Loosen up. Loosen up. Please do. Sister, please. 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 No, you're a whole That's a real girl, by the way. And I got you on camera. I hope you got me on camera. You're a whole bitch. I'm going to back up. Don't touch me. I hope you got me on camera. Yeah, you scared I hope you got this. Whoa. 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 Whoa, okay, okay. Oh, I was going to say, there goes Styles right there. There goes Styles right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There goes Styles right there. What are you about to do? Bro. Fuck him up. You, you I hope not, yeah, you need a backup. You, you need a backup, mister. You need a backup. 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 You, that's a female. That's a female. I hope your camera's on. That's a female. Right. Now there was a female that they over here apprehending like that. You know exactly who you are. Whole bitch, whole entire bitch. Y'all probably just graduated you from high school. You're scared. You're not from around. Y'all fucking nervous. Right. Don't be nervous. Like that's why y'all gotta start coming to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Just come to the hood without your badge on. You'll learn a little bit. You'll learn about what the hell be going on. That way you can police the way you want to police. Okay? And the way you're supposed to police. Not the way you want to, but the way you're supposed to police. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, if you understood the hood, you know what I'm saying? You would know who the people in that community is. But you don't know because you don't live. And I feel like that's what be wrong these days is that these cops don't live in these neighborhoods. They don't live in these neighborhoods. And if they do, they don't never come outside. They only come outside when they go to work. You know what I'm saying? So they don't know what the hell. They just like, oh, she looks rough. She might be a problem. Like, so I look rough and I look like I'm gonna be a problem? Like. But it's always a way of etiquette how you talk to people, too. You know what I'm saying? But when people have been fed up and just fed up and fed up, mm -mm. That's crazy. I just told him what he did at the water with the other dyke girls. They antagonize dyke girls, not guys. They don't antagonize guys. Y'all antagonize dyke girls. This mm. is short, it's sweet, and to the point as I possibly it's, it's always girls that look like me. You know what I'm saying? The stud chicks. Like, Possibly can. What's wrong? Um, like, y'all feel check it. Now look. Like, what y'all feel? <laughs> come on, Styles. Come with it. On behalf of all young black people who've seen the video, I was wrong because you got to be careful of what you do and how you speak out here because mm -hmm. we're all at danger. Yeah. But we also got to kind of step up when we see shit being done wrong. I definitely should have delegated it better. Yeah. And usually I actually do delegate it better, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I go through that a lot. But most of the time, it turns out in a positive manner, so there's never going to be footage of it. Right. So that it is what it is. That's how it goes. And most of the time I'm calm because most of the time when it happens, it's usually males, all males involved. Right. Mm -hmm. 
This one caught me off guard from seeing a female being slant. Now, yeah, like what? I understand. You know, you, there's certain ways you gotta delegate yourself, and there's certain right. But just because a female look a certain type of way or dress in a certain type of way, that mean that you need to treat her differently because she ain't dressed how you think a woman's supposed to dress. I'm just saying. In ways you gotta carry it. So for all the young black people, all the healthy people. All the white people, I, I don't hate cops. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I hate the mistreatment of poor people. Yeah. I hate the mistreatment of poor black people. I hate Period. the mistreatment of poor Spanish people, even poor white people in the hood. Right. I hate the fact that it's easy to throw cops in a neighborhood that get a benefit, a salary, with a bunch of people that they have no idea about how it works, and they're putting scared people in our thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I don't want to see the cops fired. Right. I don't want to see the cops lose their job, lose their right. lifeline. I want to see them be able to be able to delegate where they're at. I don't right. actually even blame them so much. I, I blame the system. I can't even... I got to blame the whole system at a fucking hole. Right. Now, I was so mad, I wanted to kind of fight the cop, which mm -hmm. is one of the dumbest things you could ever do. But when you see a lady get slammed on the floor... And yeah. you, see, you watch the news every day. You know what it's like right. to be black. Like what? And it's PTSD. It's trauma. It's all, all kind of shit. So, you know, sometimes you just get fucking tired. Of seeing that shit. Now, we're going to be in our community. This is what I say. They got to make sure the cops ain't scared or racist when they put them in certain zones. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should fire the cops. I think they need to go through certain courses, speak mm -hmm. to certain people, yep. delegate a certain way. But you got to make sure racist people ain't in race. I'm not saying those two cops is racist. Mm -hmm. It feels racist because white. I live in a white neighborhood. I've lived in a white neighborhood for a lot of years now. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, you right. understand what I'm saying. And when something happens, never get slammed to the floor. Right. And like, that just says what? something in general. Like, you, in general about fucking society. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck to say about that. But I could see if it was another up. female, you know what I'm saying, that slammed her to the ground. But you a whole dude. So you know you got an advantage. Like, that's the point of that shit. It says <laughs> something about it at some given yeah. point in time. You can't just expect to come... In people's neighborhoods, slam their women and their children, and especially with all the fucking death that's happening all the time, and expect everybody to be mentally healthy, right? And stable, and accept the shit. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But also, don't do what I did because that's not the smartest way to go about it. Now, the yeah. smartest way to go about it, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I say this. Yeah. The reason why I eat fruits and vegetables because I have anger issues. You know what I mean? I do have anger issues. I do have communicate, communication issues. When some mm -hmm. shit happens, though, it just pisses you off. You got to be on point enough to keep yourself alive. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to be on point enough to keep yourself alive and delegate. Because if it happen in a split of fucking a second. second, which it does to us mm -hmm. all the time. Which is the part that makes you fucking mad because you understand this. Like, you know what I mean? But here's what... We have to do. Don't do what I just did because it was kind of, it was dumb, but I was kind of in a mood that was in a different mood that I shouldn't even have been in, but I was in that mood, and that shit happens. Just being real with he you. He was on P time. That shit happens, <laughs> but as an elder, as a 47-year-old yeah, man South from around the world from 50, right. I look this good, but I am going to be 50 in a few years. 100. You have to be able to teach the youth how to delegate. Now, what we have to do, and I say this as a gangster and a gentleman, we have to start encouraging the youth, whether they're black, Spanish, or white, from the inner city to the start. If you're gonna be one, of, don't be scared to be a cop if you're not built for outside. That's okay. Right. We need help with money for the cop test. We got to start helping that out. But we got to start having people from the community police the community. Yeah. Or it's gonna go all the oh, way bad. fucked up. I don't even know how to put that in a different uh -huh. way. It's not even white or black. Right. It's not I don't I don't even know how to put I it. I feel like that's... if you ain't grew up in that neighborhood you can't police that neighborhood. And that's just real. Like if you have to like they should be like, 
okay, well, since you grew up in this neighborhood, like, what neighborhood did you grow up in? And they'd be like, well, I grew up in such and such. Well, we want you to police that neighborhood because that's more suitable for what you understand in the... You get what I'm saying? It's just how but it things goes. gonna start changing, If you don't come from somewhere, if you don't come from a rough community and you ain't see people... Like, when I talk to my friends, my brothers, my homies about basketball, you would think something yeah. violent is about to happen. <laughs> we're yelling, we're screaming, we're doing this. Nobody's right. about to fight. That's just how we talk. Mm -hmm. That's just how it goes. That's just if you come goes. from the suburbs, never seen that. Don't understand what's going on with certain people's attitudes, yep. what they've been through. As a child, what's going on? You have no fucking idea what's going on. Right. I'm going to give you another instance. This how rough it is. And I got to say this as we're on here, right? I'm sitting in front of the juice bar, but my hood's down the block. My hood's everywhere, actually, here, right here. But, right? And most of the local communities in the parking lots, I get it's a parking lot, right? But in our hood, we throw cookouts for... Right. Everybody all the time We don't charge anybody They just throw the cookout Whole right. town come Bloods, crips Old people Young people Everybody, everybody come out yeah. town. Nobody gotta pay for a meal Right You know the kids Ride their bikes They skate Right The cookouts Chill. is going mm -hmm. Yeah we blast the music We turn it down late night Uh huh You know they put The, 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 the fucking The projector on the wall For the films Yeah But now that's illegal in the parking lot, but the city ain't doing it for the people. Now we as people from the city got to get with the other people from the city and we got to all do it together because that's what the fuck communication is about. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say that to say this. Look, I'm not against the cops. I'm not against white people. I just want the right people policing the community at the right time, whether they're white, black, Spanish. If you're white, you grew up in Mount Vernon, or Michelle, White Plains, local area, you know about this, then you, you got the right to police over here. But also, hire some black police. You got to start looking at the numbers of the amount of black police that kind of lives where you live, who's been hired. We don't even look at that. Mm-hmm. And that's real. And that's real. He said it. He said what he had to say. That was real. That was facts. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? But until next time, I'll holler at y'all. Peace.